Meanwhile, on the girls' side, it's been an historic run for the Cougars of Pulaski County. Alyssa Ray has more. Pulaski County and Carroll County met last night in the state semifinal, a rematch of the region championship that Carroll County won. But the Cougars flipped the script when it mattered most and won 63 to 58 to advance to the state championship game. Pulaski County was trailing 16 to 2 in the first quarter, but the Cougars didn't panic. They showed resiliency and began to claw themselves out of the hole. They just battle and they don't quit, um, and that's probably the one thing that always stands out about them to me is they just don't quit. We knew what we had to do to get back into the game, and I mean, we didn't want our season to end, so we just locked in and went play by play and just did what we had to do. The Cougars now turn their attention to the Class 4 state title game against Lake Taylor. Uncharted territory for a program who hasn't been to the championship game since the early 1990s. And a different scenario from Lake Taylor, who are no strangers to the big stage. They lost in the title game last season and took home the trophy in 2014. I know they were there last year and lost it, so I know they're going to probably come with, with, with a different mindset to, to make sure they leave with the trophy. and. Uh, you know, and like I said, we, we're just excited, 100% excited. The venue may be different, but the Cougars' support system will remain the same. It means so much to me, and I'm just so thankful to be a part of an amazing program and to have four great coaches just keeping my head on straight and is helping me and aiding me on this journey. Tip-off between Pulaski County and Lake Taylor is tomorrow night at 6 p.m. from the Siegel Center in Richmond. Our own Eric Johnson will be sidelined for highlights and coverage of all our area teams. In Dublin, Alyssa Ray, 10 Sports.